Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. So here's the thing, I am rushing out to the DMV to update my license from Florida. I have finally been in the state long enough for them to give me a new license with a new Florida address so your girl is official and I can vote in Florida because that's really what I want to do, let's be honest, right? It's Okay? about to go do my license so I figured I could show you guys how I would do my makeup for like a passport picture or for a license picture as I'm going to do now it's a simple face it's really easy it pulls everything together and I look sleek and elegant without looking overdone because I want this photo to be timeless so if you see this photo five years later I don't look outdated and crazy in bold eyeshadow, which I think I did do one photo in like crazy eyeshadow, but it translated well. It did look great. So my aim is to look great on camera, get a nice like timeless photo, even though this dress may be a little bit too much. Let me show you what the dress is. So this is, listen, I love a good dress, but I may change this. This is from Kohl's. It is from Draper and Jones. It's a new brand that they have, but it's cute, right? It's a little summer dress. It's yellow. It's cute. It has a little print. I love the situation. I kind of, yeah, the front drops really low, so I kind of use some pins to hold it together. But yeah, this is my little outfit. I think it's cute. And it should work in a licensed photo. The print might look a little bit outdated. Yeah, it might look a little bit outdated a few years from now and I straighten my hair and I know when they do the photos you tuck your hair back so you don't have your hair in front of your face so if you want to see how I did this very simple face for my license and chat a little bit with me then stay tuned and I will talk to you soon alright guys so as usual we're starting off with a clean freshly washed face and I gotta hurry up because I have about an hour to get ready and get out of here so I am going to apply some eyeshadow primer to my brows. This is from Sephora. They discontinued this a while back, but they relaunched another eyeshadow primer in a tube packaging with a doe foot applicator instead. This is a squeeze tube. I don't know if the formulations are the same or similar, so I can't vouch for that. Maybe I should try it so I can give you guys feedback because it is my favorite primer to use for my brows. I don't use it for priming my eyes for eyeshadow, but it works so well in the brows because it's so lightweight, it dries down matte, and it doesn't interfere with any brow product. In fact, it helps them to last a little bit longer. Let me know if you guys would be interested in me trying out the new formula and letting you know. And then for my actual eyelids, I'm going in with my Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion. I use this whether or not I'm applying eyeshadow because my eyelids get greasy and creasy and you may have noticed in videos like where I'm not wearing eyeshadow that it's which one this specific eyelid will crease you'll see the line where the oils are breaking through it's a whole situation so I always prime my lids as well as my eyebrows because I have oily skin okay <sighs> Okay, now I'm going to go in with a bit of moisturizer. I tried this out in my last Get Ready With Me and I'm like, I like it. So again, this is from Kiehl's. It's the Ultra Facial Oil Free Gel Cream. And it looks like that. It looks like a clear gel. And it feels a little bit like that. It also says that it is cooling and it is meant for normal to oily skin type. So that's perfect for me because I'm oily combination so some areas of my face are a little bit on the normal side like under my eyes and maybe on the perimeter but I get very oily in my t-zone area so my nose my cheek area a bit on my chin like oh I just think I get oily everywhere but for sure there's some parts that are more balanced than others so I am going to let that sink in while we fill in our brows and i have to pay special attention to my brows today because we're getting photographed and we need them to look like sisters like close sisters almost twins okay and i've been having a problem balancing them out lately 
because this one tends to be thinner than this one because my eye shapes are different and I know you guys experience that too because all of us have asymmetrical faces like one side doesn't match the other so don't even play with me okay y'all know what I'm going through so let me pay extra attention to filling in these brows I'm using the Patrick Ta brow pencil I really like this brow pencil I've tried so many brow pencils out recently like the Give by Gwen Stefani one. Ooh, love that one. And now this one. And it's like each one that I try, I like. And I'm like, hmm, let's find out. The House Labs one I like. I took that traveling with me. So the Proud Pencils, the brands have picked their game up or stepped their game up. And they're giving us what needs to be given. Remember when Anastasia Beverly Hills was like the go-to brow brand? remember when no one else had like a fine point brow pen I think this is what's happening I think I just figured out what my problem is so this brow is extra full right by my arch this one isn't so I just overlined a bit let's see if that works so yeah Anastasia Beverly Hills they were the brand because of the fine brow pencil that they had. MAC had a brow pencil too, and originally when I started out in makeup, that's what I used to use. Ooh, I loved me some spiked brow pencil. But the ABH one had the fine point, and it was so much easier to use to get, like, detailed lines. So I started using that, and then I used, like, the Urban Decay one until I graduated to the Benefit brow pencil, which I absolutely love. And now we have more brands coming out with brow pencils that I think are amazing. This Patrick Ta one, I really love the point of it. I love how it just glides through the brows really easily. It gives me pigmentation without slipping and sliding because it's not too creamy. And the House Labs one also has a fine point. It's like a typical fine point um, brow pencil with the rounded shape. This one has more of a almost flat leaning oval shape and I love that and it's not too white. So this one I've been getting into but the House Labs one I love the color of that and also the formulation because again it has that drier formula that doesn't just give full-on pigment right away and it allows you to get precision and it blends out really nicely and I love the color of it. This one I also love the color, like it's it's rich dark brown, but it's not too intense. Oh my god, can you, okay? I can't believe I just figured out what the issue was all this time. Now my brows look more even. It was this all along, because that's where the extra thickness is. Kick me in my mouth and call me Susan, okay? Because all this time, all this time, Anyway, let's go in. I don't know why Susan is the name that came to mind, but let's go in. So like I said, I am about to go get my new license for Florida. It took a while to get an appointment. Well, the thing about it is they said you need to live. Is it that you need to be a resident for 30 days or is it 60 days? I don't remember what it is, but it is past that time for me. I have now officially been in Florida for over 90 days. Yes, okay. So I moved here at the start of June. So I was officially in at the start of June. So June, July, and August. I spent the summer in Florida and I am loving it oh my god so boom nice I'm using my NARS um I keep forgetting the name of this soft matte complete a coverage a concealer in the shade caramel just to shape my brows and I like using this specific concealer because it's a drier matte formula so again, it's not going to get greasy and creasy. I need anything matte, okay, on my face because we get greasy chows. So I shape my brows with this. I don't apply it on the top side. Like, remember when people used to do that? Do they still do that? That didn't look that great, but who am I, okay? Not here to judge. But I do shape the underside of my brows because I love that crisp line. I know people have been doing more of that airy fluffy brow effect or even the laminated brows for me 
I like a crisp brow. I've been doing my brows like this for over 10 years, okay? This is just my go-to brow. You know what? Let me get some primer. Speaking of matte, I'm using the Milk Makeup Primer. I love this primer. I don't know that it necessarily helps the long... Well, it has to, right? Because it does stay matte, but it's not like a dry matte, right? It's like a natural matte finish. It keeps my makeup in place. So yeah, it would extend longevity of my makeup. And it fills in pores just a bit. And we need that for this photograph. I'm gonna get some of my T-Zone by my little 11s. I need to schedule a Botox appointment because that is back. Yeah, my Botox has worn off. It ha Yeah, that makes sense because I got it right before... I came to Florida so it makes sense I don't know who I'll go to I'll figure it out I'll figure it out I'll do the reviews and stuff I just actually transferred my laser hair removal to Florida so I go to ideal image in case you're curious they're more expensive than other places you can go to for hair removal but they have that lifelong, what is that? That lifelong package where you go for touch-ups and you pay a discounted rate. I honestly signed up for them because of that option. And if I relocated, I wanted to know that that would transfer with me, right? So there are locations all over the U.S. so you can find one close to you. And of course, there's one close to me here in Florida. So perfect. It works out beautifully for me. So I went in, it took like three months again to transfer all my details. Like, I don't know, like there's no sense of urgency here in Florida, but whatever. I finally got an appointment. So I did my upper lip, my chin, cause we hairy, okay? And what else? My underarms, whoo, and my bikini area because we don't like to grow too much hair. The foundation I'm using today is the Chanel ultra com what is it called ultra wear all day comfort flawless finish foundation the shade match i have is b80 i like this foundation i think it looks really beautiful on the skin and i think it will photograph really well it photographs really well from what i can tell from me taking pictures so i'm hoping that translates with um the dmv pictures we'll see but it's a really good match so I know color wise it's going to work so it won't look crazy on my skin. I won't look too dark or too light. And it's a matte finish so there's no glow to it. And there's no SPF either so no flashbacks. So yeah, I've been loving it and it just wears really well. So let's just buff that up. But yeah, so I got my laser hair removal. Let me tell you, okay, I have to use numbing cream. Because, do you guys, okay, I'm doing this, I'm just going all over the place, but do you guys get irritated by watching people apply makeup? <laughs> There's some people that I can't watch apply makeup. They're so rough. Oh my God. So I see people like, and they're going in and I'm like, I can't watch you. And I'm hearing the sounds and I'm like, be a little bit gentler. Like, my goodness. I love watching like Lisa Eldridge apply makeup or Hindash. Oh my God. Do you watch their channels? They apply makeup so nicely. It's so soothing. They're so gentle. And I'm like, I want to be like you when I grow up. But I'm a little rougher, but I'm not as rough as some other people that I've seen. Like, I cannot. I cannot watch them apply makeup because it just, it offends me, okay? And I don't know if that has to do with a little bit of misophonia that I have. Because I can't watch or hear people eat. Like, I'll... I get angry, okay? I feel like a little bit of that anger <laughs> comes out when I'm watching people apply makeup. So let me know if that bothers you at all. But what was I saying? I forget, but yeah. I got my laser hair removal. Oh, the numbing cream that I was going to tell you. So I have to use numbing cream because the pain don't make no sense, okay? Under my arms especially. So bad. So, so bad. Like, my upper lip is a little bit sensitive. Like, I can take it. And my bikini area, like, get in there, girl. And we did, this time around, we did a double pass. Because she's like, girl, you're paying for it. Because I'm paying for, like, the... I've done laser hair removal for years now, okay? But recently, it started growing back. Which is why I want to have the lifetime warranty. Well, not a warranty. But the lifetime guarantee or the lifetime plan. Where you go in for touch-ups at a discounted rate. Because I know I'm going to need touch-ups, okay? 
laser hair removal is for the reduction in hair growth and then density like it's not as thick but it's not going to completely remove the hair and they they kind of allude to it doing that but it really doesn't so don't expect that even though they kind of like oh it's gonna remove it permanently now it don't it removes it for a while but you're gonna need to go in for touch-ups and my touch-ups were every 8 to 12 weeks depending on the the hair growth and then I went like a good year and a half between treatments before I needed to get the touch up because the hair just wasn't growing back as intensely under my arms I got really fine like um it was like peach fuzz after like the eighth treatment that's what happened so I didn't need to go back because it was so fine and I would just shave it and then my bikini area on the top like you know the top part <laughs> by the fupa <laughs> no the top the the they have different names for it but like you know what i'm talking about that that area right above the labia so the hair didn't grow and i'm giving you all this information because i'm not bashful but the hair um didn't grow back there at all like at all to this day it still hasn't grown back and that was after like maybe three treatments but for the labia and like the sides of my thighs you know the hair comes out a little bit so right there the hair definitely grew back okay thinner but it was definitely there okay and up my behind okay and i am not ashamed to say it and i don't think anybody should be ashamed to speak about hair growth like we're all human we all have it so the concealer i used is the sephora um better skin this is such a good concealer okay love it so yeah, all that area. So I paid for the Pleasure Trail, which that's not what they call it. I forget what they call it, okay? But I paid for the Pleasure Trail, which also hasn't grown back, so that's good. The entire bikini area, as well as the Perry... Perry... The, it's a Perry name. They call it Perry something. Perry Neum, Perry something. My butt, okay, my butt crack. So I paid for all of that, because I need all that hair gone. And I've been shaving since I was like 14 because I have that Indian heritage child and the way the hair is set up, like, it's crazy. It be crazy. So I never liked hair down there. Even if it's like, oh, leave a trail. Like I'm not leaving no trail. I want to be butt smooth, okay? Well, my butt isn't smooth, but what does um, Audra say? She wants to be titty skin smooth. <laughs> titties are smooth but i do want to be like hair free completely i don't care okay hair free is for me so i did that and yeah the pain the numbing cream that i use i'm gonna leave it down below it's from amazon so usually i had to get order it through ideal image they would send in a prescription like i got the prescription level but now you can get a regular numbing cream on Amazon that does the same thing and it's like under $20 and it's fantastic and it really numbs the area okay it it still hurts for sure but it numbs really well and my technician or I don't know what they call them but the tech yeah the technician that did it this time around she was so good because I told her like I hate this and and it was my first time going to this location because like I said I transferred I'm using a bit of Lane Low paint is it Lane Low? yeah paint pot all over my lids so I told her I I can't stand the pain it really hurts and I have a high tolerance for pain like my threshold is up there but girl this laser woo, the bikini area I can handle like go for it like go in okay I can take it but under the arms whoo baby hurt so bad so so bad but yeah I told her that and she was like all right I got you girl so she moved really fast so it's like back 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 and if you've ever done laser then you know and it's kind of the same with laser tattoo removal which I did and completely gone oh well it's not completely gone there's a like you can barely see some you yeah, see it a little bit left but not a big deal but if you've ever done any kind of laser treatment then you know they have like the applicator and it's like bam 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 and they keep passing over the area so she moved really quickly 
I just, um, I need to, did I set my, did I just do that? I forget if I did. Let me, you know, I'm talking to y'all and forgetting what the hell I'm doing. So she went really fast and then she had an ice pack, right? I'm just going to set this paint pot down because like I said, it, it crease, okay? I got to be sure this side at least is set down because craziness. But yeah, she went fast with the ice pack and then she, you know, she was just going and then she was like, let's do a double pass because we want to get all of it, right? So we did a double pass on the lip, underarm, and all over. Okay, I'm going in with some Dior Backstage palettes. I love using these palettes when I just want a soft look because, again, it's a licensed photo, so I don't want to look too made up. What I do when I take photos for like passports, although my passport picture looks kind of crazy because the passport picture that I did, oh my God. So that was a rush job. It was a same day service because what happened last, was it last year? No, 2020, I went to Italy, right? For my job. But in order to travel internationally, and I don't know if you guys know this, but you have to have a passport that has at least six months on it, right? And the six months is from your return, is it from your return date or your departure date? Either way, it has to be valid for at least six months. So my passport expired like two days outside of the six months and I was trying to like push it because I was able to book the ticket and everything, but the travel agent advised me because you have to book through a travel agent when you travel for work. Well, for my job, my previous job. And they warned me, they were like, mm, do you want to book this for sure? Because they may not let you in. <laughs> and I'm like, what? They may not allow you to board the plane. So I went to the airport. Like I was legit at the airport. I'm just going between warm neutrals and amber neutrals right i'm just picking up different colors I'm, listen okay i'm not even gonna get into what it what's happening but i'm just doing a little bit of shading in my crease and i'm going to leave it at that right very simple very basic nothing too crazy so i chanced it went to the airport and the booking agent was like no no ma'am because i couldn't check in at the kiosk because it said go see an agent so i went and saw the agent and the agent was like we're not gonna allow you to board me, 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 me. and I'm like you dirty bitch and like literally it was it was over by two days two days two but that was my fault thinking I could push it so you know it is what it is so I had to rebook my flight for the next day good thing it was like a, a eight o'clock flight I think the flight left at like 8 30 so I was able to go to the city that morning. So I went the next day early in the morning and got same day service at the embassy for my passport with the expedited fee and everything. And girl, what a disaster. Cause I got two um, parking tickets and I hated the city for that. Like I could never get out of getting a parking ticket because what happened is that you got to pay the meter and my meter expired and I was like, fuck it. You know, <laughs> just leave it there. They already gave me the ticket. Lo and behold, they came and gave me a second ticket. And I'm like, how'd that work? Anyway, still worked out. I got my passport like at four. I was packed and everything. I was gonna park at the airport at that point because I'd driven to the city to make sure that I would be on time. So I just parked at the airport in long-term parking and just, you know, went from there. It worked out though. It worked out because I was able to make the flight. Everything worked out. I had to reschedule with the client because I was supposed to start like the next day for work. So how it works is I would leave on a Sunday to start work on a Tuesday because of the length of the flight, the duration, and then the actual time change. Just going over my lid with a light beige shade. This is an Urban Decay shade. It is fixed. Just a light beige. And I'm just going over the rest of my lid with that. But yeah, so I would get there like the Monday morning at like 10-ish. And then I would just spend the day chilling. And then I would start work on the Tuesday. Now, because I was a day late, I ended up getting there on the Tuesday. And so I kind of just went straight to work. 
and they were aware of what was going on so i just went straight to work with my suitcase and everything i emailed them they knew what was happening so they had to reschedule like the taxi that was picking me up and all that stuff which is fine okay they weren't too taken aback they were like all right we'll just work with it my clients because i've been there so many times they were really you know good about it but don't chance it if you don't know your clients like that that was my bad though so got the passport and did all that let me put some bronzer on because i for sure want some bronzer in my life so yeah that worked out so now what am i saying that picture was a rush picture because i had to get it like in the morning and like i'm packing like it was a ru mad rush okay so i was rushing to get to pack you know to get the passport done so i didn't really get cute <laughs> For that picture it's not an ugly picture but I'm not like looking my best right but my license ooh, my license my New York license I look cute I did my makeup I was looking cute so I'm trying to do that here even though here I go rushing again I just don't know time I mean I know what time and I'm I'm trying to get better at that I'm really no I'm not I'm, I am I am I think trying <laughs> are you are you though? Am I really? Am I really trying? Hmm, hmm, hmm. No, I had to do my hair. I had to straighten my hair just now. And then it's going to rain. So I hope it is it raining already? It was raining earlier. Just put a little blush on. I'm using this Item Beauty blush in Blushing Like. It's a cream blush. And just popping that on my cheek to give a little bit of color. Nothing crazy. Again, not trying to go overboard with the makeup. All right, now we got to set our face. Let me get my powder. And I'm going to make sure that I press the powder on my nose. So I'm going to kind of bake my nose a little bit. So I'm pressing my Kosas powder with a sponge all over my nose. And I'll do that to my T-zone as well because... Girl, we be shining. All right, I'll let that sit and woo, do a little bit of buffing really quick of the powder all over my face. And I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to do a simple lip. Yeah, that's good. We're going to put mascara on, of course. What time is it? It is 2.02 and I need to leave at 2.30. 30 to be on time well not even on time i want to be early because being on time is actually late so i want to be like 15 minutes early my appointment's at three and the dmv is like 15 minutes away so that's why i said 2 30 but don't tell me that because i'll leave at a quarter two because i'm like oh it's only 15 minutes away i don't need that energy okay so yeah that's what we're about to do and child did i tell you guys about the lizards let me quickly tell you about the disaster while I apply this mascara. So the lizards, okay? I have been having episodes with the lizards. So I told you that lizards like come in like, and it's not the cute ones that run around with the curly tail, right? No, these are the croaking lizards that I hate that get inside the apartment and I've just been fighting them left and right. So let me tell you about the one, let me tell you. When I say I almost passed out, okay? So, they come in, but the entrance is there with, like, the living space and then the kitchen, right? And then you come in and you go to, down the hallway, and then you have this room over here. Then you go some more and you have a bathroom, right? And then you go down some more in the hallway and you have the master um, suite, right? Which is not no longer called a master because that's racist, so the primary bedroom and the bathroom is in that bedroom. Okay, fine. Cool. Cute. 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 All right. Child, I have my bathroom over like, you know, in the back, right? And I have my little laundry basket. I'm doing lashes. So I have my laundry basket sitting there next to like my sink area. So the sink area is in the bathroom the way they set it up. So you have the shower and the toilet in a separate room so that's the bathroom but then the actual sink is outside right 
with the vanity setup and then the medicine cabinet and like the mirrors and stuff so it's outside in a different space so my laundry basket is out there right so it's kind of in the room but in the nook you know so now my daddy right and you know oh you wear things you put them in your dirty clothes you put them in the laundry basket but you sometimes like have something that isn't really dirty but it's not really clean like you wore it once you can wear it again like jeans you, you're gonna wear them again so you're not gonna put them in the actual laundry but you don't want to put them back with your clean clothes right so i'm gonna put the shots i have one shots and i want jean shots because it's so great here in florida and i mentioned before because i can just get up and go and it's easy to pull on jean shorts to head out the door right i don't even know what i'm wearing so i have the jean shorts put on now upon the laundry basket on top because now i can just grab it if i want to wear it right so i'm gonna put on the jean shorts i'm gonna get up the next day and already you know I'm gonna say I go to road, make my sweater go on, right? So I'm gonna take up the shots. Madam, Pam, and Sam. <sighs> there was one lizard. One lizard was under the shots, sitting down, just like chilling. And I'm like, first of all, how the fuck you get in here? Because, like, where you come from? Because I don't open my window in my bedroom, so you're not coming from there, and there are no gaps, so you're not coming from that window right so you have to come from in the living room where i have cracked a window here or there but i don't crack them no more right but like the door i realize that they stand on top of the door well they hang out by the door and then they come in when i open the door right so this dirty lizard dirty lizard come from way out of way way found his way into my bedroom not only that found his way onto my laundry basket and then kindly pulls up himself under the shorts. Sir, when me tell you, hey, one piece of calamity me and the lizard. Listen, I sprayed him with everything I had. I had bleach, I had oven cleaner, I had bathroom cleaner. I was like, you gonna get out? Cause what we're not gonna do, sir, okay? We're not gonna play this game. I'm not playing with you. Little is I don't know, I'm a little bit in a butt. Thank God it was a small one because Janoa is a straight out of that Manila catch. Imagine if I put on my shorts and he was in the shorts. The Lord saved me at that point because God know if him did in the shorts, a dead me, a dead. Uno would have to attend a virtual funeral because I would have died, okay? You'd have been like, rest in peace, fancy, because the art attack that I would have had, okay? First of all, I almost passed out seeing him sitting there, like chilling, like, what up though? And I'm like, ooh, ooh, uh-uh. So under the shots alone was bad enough. Thank God I'm never in the shots because I dead me the dead. Dead me what I did. Anyway, me and the lizard, some jump off of the, the, um, the laundry basket, no, you know. Jump off and him are running out the corner and I'm like, you're not running out no corner you know, because I'll am powder house. You're not getting away because if you get away, it's in my room. So I'm not going to be able to stay here because me and you not staying at a room. And I don't know where you got, no. Because if he hides, if he gets to hide, it's over. Because what's going to happen, huh? He's going to end up on the bed. And I, again, would be deceased. You would just have to cremate me because no, mm -mm. So me and the lizard and we fight and him me spray him and him run and me spray him and him run until finally he was drunk enough. I don't know that he was dead, you know, but I, you know, whatever. My point was to get him out. So I sprayed him. He's drunk, whatever. He's passed out, whatever. Okay. From the fright. I don't know. Either way, all of us listened. Okay. It was a whole fiasco. So I scooped him up on, you know, you have your little sweeper thing, your little dustpan where you sweep with the broom. So I swept him up. I have one of the long handle ones, you know, so I'm not down there. Thank God, Jesus Lord. So I brushed him onto it and I ran outside and fling him outside, right? He landed bop on the patio. Who? Well, it's not a patio. It's a balcony. So I'm land plop and I said, Lord of mercy, hurry up and lock the door so he wouldn't come back in. Next thing I know, I opened the door. Well, I was looking through the window, really, truly. And I see him running, 
So I'm like, okay, he didn't die. I don't feel as bad. Like, he's not dead, right? I only felt slightly bad if he was dead because I, that was an attack. And I, I have a right to self-defense, okay? So he wasn't dead. He went running and... <sighs> was a situation it was a whole situation but got him out okay face is done and like I said I'm not doing anything crazy I should add a little bit of dimension to my nose because it's going to get lost in the sauce once we do the picture so I'm just gonna grab a little bit of my bronzer and do a little bit of shading right along the bridge what time is it 210 hmm hmm I don't know how much of that I would have edited out so you have not been here for eight minutes with me. Bye, oh, yeah, me and the lizards. No, not going on well. Okay, we're good here. I am going to put on what I'm putting on, fix my hair, and I'll be right back to show you the finished look before I have to run out the door. Okay, so we'll be right back. Okay, I am back and we are almost late, okay? I have six minutes. <laughs> So for the lips, I'm just using a lip, ah, this is a lip balm from Makeup by Mario. It's one of his um, Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serums in Blush Glow. Um, mm -mm. gonna let that mm, sit on the lips, but remove the excess. And that should be good. I'm not, again, doing anything crazy with the lips. So here you have it. This is the final look. And I closed my blinds so you can see better what everything looks like. Again, it's a very simple, subtle look. Nothing too crazy, nothing too outlandish. Just a simple look for my license photo. And I already showed you the dress that I'm wearing. I feel like I should change, but I don't have time. And I think this is cute. Like this is cute, right? This will do. So there you have it. I will leave as many of the products as I can remember down below in the description box in case you're curious and you wanna check them out yourself because these are some of my tried and true products, products that I really love to give me that flawless look that will work for photography, that just gives me the little polished look. So I will leave them down below along with links on where you can pick them up. If those links have asterisks next to them, that means that they are affiliate links, which means I will get a small sales commission. And I hate that I say which means twice, but that indicates that I will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through those links. It's an easy way to show your support for the channel because it helps me to put right back into the content. So I appreciate you using my links. But if you're not comfortable with that, just shop the way you normally shop, no must, no fuss. I'm just happy you're here watching. And if you want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I will leave those linked below as well. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye, guys. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute before you guys go. I'm back already, and it is now 4.05, so it took me pretty much an hour and change to get my license, and I'm like, what's going on? And I was wrong. The place was like five minutes away from me. So win-win. I was early, had my appointment, got everything done and printed like I have my new license. And I'll show you guys. Okay. So you guys see the actual result. That is me. Isn't that a good picture? I'm cute. Oh my God. Like obviously I can't show you all my business, but I am cute. Oh, so let me find out they printed it same time I'm like I didn't know they do that because in New York they gotta mail it to you and you gotta wait to see how ugly you look but a very cute picture and I am very happy with that so that's all I wanted to check in and show you the actual result okay I changed the dress too because I mean the photo is from here up so it's like not a big deal and I wanted to like get my shoulders in there so I just changed it to this dress you guys have already seen it so it's not a big deal but yeah that's it now I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.